Right now, we're following back up with a Ukrainian transplant to Indiana who we first introduced you to last December. Since then, there have been some bumps in the road for his family trying to earn a living. Well, joining me now in studio, we have Boris Minashenko, who we've done a story with earlier on. Boris, you're from Ukraine, as well as his son-in-law, Rashish Jetty. And so thank you for being here with us. We are so happy to have shared your story and your wife's story about moving here from Ukraine. Name is Albina, last name Sablina. It's my husband. Uh, my name is Boris Mnyshenko. It's difficult Ukrainian name. <laughs> this couple knows love, like the years of marriage, down to the month. Thirteen years uh, and six months. Now their love of family carries them to Indy, away from the war in Ukraine. Kiev. 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 We are from Kiev. When they left the capital city, they left everything behind. We're gathering again just to talk about a little bit more of what's happened since we had that story, right? It's been a big update for you um, with your driver's license, specifically your job. You got a job shortly after moving here and going through the program at Crystal House Doors, and you were able to drive trucks, but that's changed, right? Boris got his CDL driver's license in November, mm-hmm. uh, and then we did approach to several local companies for a job, uh, and he did have a couple of offers, so he decided to work for a local company called Techno Trucking. Yeah. Uh, so he started working on it, so he was happy, he really loved it, because because this is a job he really was interested in. He was passionate about He l- He loves automobiles. He wanted to see America. He thought this was right. an opportunity to explore America as well. Yeah, and earn a living, right? Yes, and, yeah. and to support the family as well. Yeah. Because he's supporting uh, his wife here and also his parents are back home too. Mm-hmm. So he wants to make sure uh, his uh, parents stay warm there. So he's trying to arrange for help too. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so everything was good. So he was enjoying his job. And I think uh, on uh, no- December 7th, we received a letter saying that we had issue with your credential verification from the BMW. Mm-hmm. So they were, uh, we were asked to report to the, the, the BMW North Indy. So we went to the local office and then they told us, um, uh, sorry, we had issue verifying your credentials. The Department of Homeland Security did not confirm your legal status in the country. That's what we were told. Hmm. And then Even they, though he already had the license as well as the job, the CDL license. And we, he had all the, the documentation from the Department of Homeland Security. He had an employment authorization document as well. Mm-hmm. So we showed all of that, but they still said, sorry. That's what we were told by DHS. They took the license back. He is in a category called C-11 parole. Mm-hmm. Uh, so under that category, only Afghan parolees are eligible for a real ID. Not Ukrainian. Are not eligible for that. Parolees, right? Yeah. Only for Ukrainian. Yeah. So, and uh, we, the, what we did was, um, uh, we at least uh, we have a little bit of an understanding what was going on. Mm-hmm. We went back home. We've been doing a lot of research to understand what exactly the real ID is. Yeah. Is, first thing, is this all true? Yeah. <laughs> like it was a little hard to believe. Right. <laughs> uh, so we, we read the law and then we got a confirmation that it's because of the Real ID Act he's not eligible to get a driver's license in the state of Indiana. You don't have your license, you don't have your CDL, you don't have, you aren't able to do your job that you were hired to do. Um, how are you feeling? I mean, I, I could imagine that's a tough situation for you to be in. Uh, I really, I, I, I disappear in this situation uh, because uh, I have um, they are not asking for free money uh, I just uh, I believe at working hard uh, uh, and supporting myself and my family uh, I pass this, uh, I pass knowledge test I pass education is in truck driver school I uh, passed driving examination. I got my CDL uh, license and uh, job offer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I want, uh, I, I request uh, the government just give back my license. Yeah. Just give back my license for support myself and my family. Yeah. That's all. 